Er murder people. This is awesome. I'm so excited. Today we have received in the mail not one, not two, but six magazines. Old magazine, not just any magazine. Sync magazine. And if you never heard of it, I don't blame you because it actually only, uh, I think there was only six or uh, maybe seven or eight issues ever. And they started in the last half of 2004 and they ended, I think, in the end of 2005. Uh, they, they had their last issue. So we are going to take a look at this, now I want to start with issue number one because that's the one that actually got my, uh, piqued my interest in getting the magazines. I was actually, let's see, in 2004, I was, oh, um, 15, 16, something, 16, no, 16, 17, somewhere around that age. And Sync Magazine was created by a media company called Ziff Davis. Um, let's see, is this the one? Is this the one we want? I think this is the one we want. All right, go get that extra, get that packaging out of the way. There it is. Oh man, this is exciting. So Ziff Davis created this magazine and it was supposed to be sort of like Maxim or, you know, like one of these kind of like men's interest mags but for tech and gadgets. So they have like gadget guides and things. Oh, there it is, the inaugural issue. Oh man, I haven't seen this in a long time. I just, you know, I was thinking like, man, what was that magazine? About a, three, four months ago, I was thinking, what was that magazine, that tech mag? They, uh, they went out of, they went under after just a few issues, but it was so cool to me. To me, it was so cool. Then I switched to Wired and Wired just didn't didn't do it for me. I mean, nowadays it's just turned into just trash. It's not even about tech anymore. It's about microdosing LSD or some nonsense. But um, this, this mag was all about tech and it was like this intersection of fashion and technology. I thought it was a really great idea. Um, all the other technology magazines didn't didn't really do it like they did it here. Let's see. I mean, look at this. This is just like nostalgia row. This is a this here a microprocessor. Let's see. Judge it. Yeah, learn it. Good gadgets gone bad. No more hangovers. Alcohol you can breathe in. Oh no. People, nerds hard at work. Oh so zany. Tech blunders. Tech news. Megapixel camera phones. Whoa. <laughs> Surround sound PC speakers. Displays for gaming graphics galore. Man. Oh, this is so cool. Let's see if I can get a good angle on this. This camera here. Ugh. Oh, this is so exciting. The inaugural issue. 2004. I mean, all this stuff, it was a totally different age. There was no smartphone. So there were gadgets for everything that a smartphone did. And I mean, look at that. That's a LCD, black and white, Dell music player. The Dell DJ music player for just $200 with room for over 7,000 tunes. It's like being on tour with thousands of bands at once. Interesting, look at that marketing. 15 gigabyte of hard disk space. This was back in the days when you actually had a hard drive, an actual hard drive in the device for all you youngsters, like a spinning disk drive. Um, the first iPods also had that, but I think they came with 20 gigabytes. So this is 15 gigs, plays MP3, WMA, Windows Media File, wow. Fast 
2.0 PC sync connection, USB 2.0. That was a big deal back then. I mean, now you, I think USB 2.0 is like maybe two, three megabytes per second. Let's see here. What's that, little John? No. Yeah, it's little John. <laughs> the list. Sync asked rapper Lil John for his top 10 favorite shiny objects. Watch out. Okay. <laughs> My cup. It's filled with potent mix of Hennessy and Crunk energy drink. Oh yeah, I think that they were actually promoting Crunk energy. I think he, he was promoting Crunk energy drink at the time. My G4 laptop. My platinum Crunk chain. Right there. Because it says crunk on it, and it's platinum to match my teeth. My middle finger ring. This has diamonds, because you got to have that little ice. My ice tech watch. Diamond count, 30. My Oakley sunglasses. I'm talking to Oakley about making my own line. My crunk energy drink. My iced out Oakley watch. It's custom made. All I have to say. And my backup cup. Okay, so he didn't really explain that he had much tech. Look at this. Look at this Nokia device. What is this? This is a, a Nokia music playing device. Oh my God, there's just so much in here. Got a look, flip phone. What is this? Misleading manuals. Kindergartners follow directions, men mock them. This is a monster rocket. Dude, no, no, I just, I can't. Moto Extras. Oh man, there it is. That's the one, the iconic Ghetto Blaster. The TRC 931. These go on eBay for about $1,500. Broken, not working. I bought this Lasonic TRC 931 Ghetto Blaster from a friend three years ago for $40. Super cool, when I was 27 and single but I just got married and my wife wants me to pitch it. Don't do it, bro, don't do it. It's no Ming vase, but any chance it'll be worth something someday? Yes, yes, if so, maybe she'll let me keep it. Dear Frank, the model of the late 70s, early 80s was actually reissued in the late 90s, says Gary M. He says here, um, unfortunately, this is the newer version. Uh, so it's, it's a mock. Sync says keep it. Think Return of the Hairbands, 2005. Yeah, now how about 2025? You see why a, a 16 year old with young man would just absolutely devour this kind of magazine? It's all about tech. It's all about just gadgets, shiny, great gadgets, and very like, what do they call, what, how do they say it? Laissez faire writing? Oh, these must be the editors. And, and the authors, okay, great. Let's see, how many how many megapixels? 6.1 megapixels. This is a really like ill-prepared Ill ad also, just to be totally honest. Look at that, they're, they're uh, reviewing all the early projectors, which back in the day, I mean, these were, look at that, look at these prices. $1,400, $1,700, $1,900, $2,000 for a projector. All bank models. Oh, it's an ad. Tiger Direct. Remember Tiger Direct, guys? Come on. Sink, baby. Sink. Oh, so cool. Oh, look. This guy does have that, that same ghetto blaster. These things, these things are, I would love to get my hands on one of those. I have actually a uh, Panasonic RX DS20 
Ghetto Blaster. Oop, here we go. Let me uh, usurp you for a second. There, and it actually has Bluetooth capability. So when you turn it on, that's that's the Bluetooth that's gonna hijack my audio. But um, yeah, you can stream your Spotify playlist right directly to this thing. And it's rechargeable. So you don't have to put the 10 uh, D cell batteries in the back every time you wanna go to the park. I put some serious rechargeable batteries in it. Uh, uh, you know those robot vacuums? Yeah, yeah, that, that, so there we go. Do, 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 do. Nope, um, we want you to go down. There we go. Nice. Anyways, I put some some of those robot vacuum rechargeable batteries in there in a recharging unit, connected it up to the AC input. So when you plug it in, it just automatically charges the stereo. Pretty cool. There it is. Creative Zen Extra Power Player. I mean, 40 gigabyte version, 269. Back in 2005, I mean, that was quite a bit. Comp USA. Fries, Best Buy. Oh, you could also buy it right on Amazon. Oop. Uh, hang on a second here. There you go. All right, let's see here. The dirty digital hookup. I got a Bluetooth, got a Bluetooth phone and a fire in your pants. On the tiny island nation of England, some might wish the term "toothing" referred to a new brand of national dentistry reform. reform. Those dirty fingered bastards. Instead, it's a Brit term that just landed in America. The gist, people with Bluetooth devices find other like-minded and horny strangers in their immediate vicinity for some public get down. Bluetooth is a wireless technology that lets PDA and PDA, remember, Palm Digital Assistant, PDA, and cell phones communicate over a short distance. A person with an enabled gadget can see who else in the vicinity has Bluetooth and text them a message like, two thing, meet me in the bar bathroom for some stanky. Okay, this is not real. This never happened. This is an invention of the, of whoever wrote, of, of this guy, Ted Spiker. There is absolutely no way two thing was ever a real thing, never. I just refuse to believe it. A Brit code named Toothy Toothing runs an online forum with tips for beginners. It's fun and exciting. You can meet some wonderful new people and make proper friends. Proper in the biblical sense, that is. Okay. This never happened. Never. I just, I, there's no way that that's real. But 16-year-old me in 2005 would absolutely have believed it and really would, would have wanted to be in England at that time with a Bluetooth device so I can get my toothing in to go, go to the public restroom to do some stanky, uh, inviting just a random stranger over text. You don't even know what they look like. All right, next. Enjoy the show. Bad actors can experience the same humiliation as bad singers. Go with what you know. Pick a flick with fast talkers. Geek Chick. Streets of Cupertino. Huh. Interesting. Let's see if I can zoom out just a tiny bit here. There you go. Whatever. Next. Best Buy. Get your flat screen. T uh, 15 inch or 30 inch. Whoa, 30 inch monitor, I mean, that's huge. The Flatron, uh, there's many in office that I've seen those in, definitely breaking. Oh, look at that, good old President uh, George H.W. Bush. Let's see, oh, I see. This is Photoshop, Photoshop, syncmag.com. I wonder if that's a real website now. Alter history, got a computer and an itch to make others look stupid when Oprah's head is Pasted on Steedman's body. It's usually done with Adobe Photoshop. Design pros use this program to create everything from Kellogg cereal boxes to this magazine. But like break dancers, designers want to flaunt their skills. Fark.com. I wonder if Fark.com is a thing anymore. An offbeat news blog 
known for its daily barrage of office hazardous links, has become a battleground for so-called Photoshop wars. A newsworthy photo is posted and the automated, the augmented image with the highest user rating wins. Finally, the socially inept have an outlet to properly mock the social elite. Matt Drobard, Matt, Matt Rodbard, check out syncmag.com for tips from a war sh from a Photoshop war pro. The distracting puppet show. Yeah, exactly. Oh man. So it just reminds me of simpler time before social media. I mean, this was even before Facebook. Facebook was invented in 2005, six. Uh, well, at least it was popularized in 2006. I remember I got my first Facebook. Oh, look at that. Remember you had a set of these around your computer? Old stereos now blast MP3s. Back in the day, party mixes were a mark of the social elite and the very lonely. Then some 18 year old nerd popped a zit called Napster and thousands of songs on a computer replaced those 12 hand-picked tracks. But don't chuck that stereo yet. Snag one of these wireless boxes. They suck up MP3s and blast them through any old system. Sex Appeal, Roku SoundBridge, Network Music Player, Roku. That's fascinating. This tube has a bright 12 inch display. Whoop. And whatever. Here we go. Camera phones go megapixel. Huh. Nokia. So this is a Nokia phone. When it comes to image quality, pictures taken with today's camera phones suffer from worse exposure than pro bowling on ESPN6. But a new crop of one megapixel ringers promises to shoot the works. One megapixel cell phone camera. Man, can you imagine? MP3s rock surround sound. Oh, I see. So they got the sexy, the geeky, and the cheap. This is it. Nokia 7610, shown this one. The cockeyed keyboard is a nice change from the typical fistful of silver, which makes it strangely attractive in Condoleezza Rice sort of way. <laughs> Capture pictures or video in its expandable 72 megabyte of memory or rock out to its MP3 player available this summer, $600. Six, can you imagine paying $600 for 72 megabyte memory? Uh, cell phone with no touch screen and having to text using the old number pad method with this confusingly colored uh, number pad. Crazy. Oh, here we go. The Sony Ericsson S700, 1.3 megapixel sh shooter. Hmm. Having the highest camera, uh, camera phone resolution available. It boasts an impressive seven hour battery, nifty front cover swivels shut to prevent pocket dialing. And accidental, and accidental reconnects with Prozac Jack X's. Available this fall, $600. Here we go. And there's a Motorola flip phone for, or another Motorola phone for 300 bucks. And these were like the top end designer cell phones of the day. Man, every time you turn the page, you just find, even the ads were cool. Like I would, I would actually read the ads. PowerShot Pro One digital camera, right here. All right, who's this? If your email does not have a spell checker, type the message in a word processor spell check and then copy it to your email. Laughing and making comments while watching a movie on a portable DVD player are unacceptable. Use, use, use emoticons sparingly. This is bef way before emojis. Or not at all. These are signs of someone trying to be humorous. Here are some rules outlined by author Charles and Ann Winters in the official book of electronic etiquette. <laughs> tech etiquette. So these people are going to be telling us about tech etiquette in their new book. Whoa, who's this?
Courtney Love loses shirt, mind, crack, Blackberry. New York, Love is hot for director Chris Milk, as evidenced by dirty emails purportedly found on a Blackberry she left at a restaurant. Her email stated that he was better in bed than Cobain. No word on whether the exchange was ghostwritten by Billy Corgan. Oh, shit. I don't know if any of it, this is, none of this is true. There's no way any of this is true. Ah, magazines. Some things never change. They just lie. Nerds hard at work. I, I would just spend hours reading this freaking magazine. Hours. Oh, look at this. Oh, what a shame. Real Japanese batteries. No, oh, made in USA. Game Boy Advance. What did they do to this? Scusi, Mario, you are, are blowing up. A 15-year-old student at Livingston Junior High in Texas just wasn't satisfied with the colorful, non-lethal, pixelated explosions taking place on his Game Boy screen. So he hollered it out and filled it with gunpowder from his fireworks stash. When a classmate tipped off the school's police officer, the budding bomber was taken into custody and charged with possession of a prohibited weapon in a weapon-free zone, a second-degree felony. More surprising than the charge that Texas has a weapon-free zone. Yeah, exactly. They shouldn't have any gun-free. Well, they shouldn't have any gun-free zones. This wasn't blown up with gunpowder. It was just burned. Great for the picture, though. Big old Skechers ad. Look at this. It's a little video game made into a uh, football. Inhale booze. Oh, this was as promised. Ooh, look at this. One of those little cards that you uh, use to mail in to get your your 10 issues for 1997. Whoa. Yeah, that was me. I certainly did it. All right. This is the booze inhaler. For the last year, Brits and Aussies have been huffing their booze. The means, a contraption called alcohol without liquid, AWOL. The device vaporizes liquid shots, no beer, into a mist, which is then mixed with oxygen and inhaled. It takes about 30 minutes to inhale a shot, but the effect is immediate and euphoric, explains. Wait, it takes 30 minutes to inhale a shot, but the effect is immediate? That doesn't sound right. Explains Kevin Morris, the U.S. distributor of Spirit Partners. Morris invited Sync for a hit, but our reporter backed out after hearing from medical experts who warned that the un unstudied vaporizer is like glue sniffing and could lead to irreversible, irreversible, irreversible nerve damage. AWOL will start showing up in U.S. bars this summer. Yeah, okay. We'll see about that. Whoa. There it is. The iPod. The, the very first iPod. I remember those buttons and the wheel. Norad, can you wear me now? Cell service dead zones. Awesome like a pencil in the throat. Never be out of reach again thanks to this ugly little box. Oh, it's like a antenna box. <laughs> the Sumaki aims to combat monitor eye. The goggle is designed to limit field of vision, which, purport, which purportedly helps eyes stay fresh after hours in front of the monitor. Wow. And they want to they wanna charge you 30 bucks for this thing? Oh, I see. A 40 gigabyte iPod equals three Sean Bradleys because it stacks up that many CDs. Whoa, check out these freaking headphones. Why do these cost so much? How much were they? $2,600. <laughs> well, I've seen similarly, similar headphones for uh, going for quite a lot more, in fact. Wait, actually, I mean, 
so the Apple headphones, they go, the Apple AirPods Max, they go for only 500 bucks. It's $2,600 for these Sony headphones. I don't know what this, I don't, I don't, I've never seen these before, but actually when I saw this in the first mag, I went about designing better headphones that I never actually made because I was 16, 17. Anyways, I'd love to go through those, but I won't. Bluetooth headset. Is this a laptop? A laptop with a desktop-sized brain. Wow. Love to get into the details of that. Oh, real cheapo MP3 player. And the world's fastest electric razor. In the back in there. Game balls. Fast, stylish, precise. I'm not really interested in sports. Sorry, guys. Also, car is not really. Oh, is this a concept car? It's a Lexus concept car. What's up with these guys? Most new luxury cars are unaffordable and unattainable, but these slick rides from 15 minutes into the future are priced to move. Are they roadworthy? Ah, interesting. Wow, look at that. Look at that interior. Looks interesting. Navigation systems, no. Oh, the iRiver. I got that. I actually got an iRiver back in, I uh, can't remember. Must've been 04. Yep. iRiver PMP can do it for you. Play your movies, music, photo, games, and more. Wow. All right, what's that? Music, okay, this is the music section. Video games, more music stuff. Movies. Movie reviews. Field of Dreams, 15th Anniversary Edition, Showgirls, Robocop Trilogy, Along Came... Let's see what they said about Robocop. One might call Robocop a symbol of the factory mechanization that robbed Detroit motor workers of their jobs. Others might call it what it really is. One of the last great violent films of the 20th century enjoy catchphrases such as drop it and you're coming with me along with deleted scenes and other requisite extras. MGM Home Entertainment, June 8th. Hmm. Oh, the A-Team. What's this cartoon? C-Lab 2021. <laughs> C-Lab's humor is like a dead clown. It's disturbingly funny, but you can't quite tell why. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, iRobot, I remember that one. Wow, they really played up with the cute girls selling their wares. I guess the, some things never change. Now, The Matrix, the original may, may be the only Hollywood movie that's equal parts postmodern theory and gravity-defying kung fu action. The Man with No Name trilogy, Star Wars, Terminator. Yeah, the first Arnold is bad. First Arnold is bad, then he's good, then he's both. They all work well on some level. From the gritty tech noir feel to of the original to the slick special effects of Judgment Day to the over-the-top franchise extending romp that is Rise of the Machines, Bathroom Break, T3, is about as action-packed as a movie can get, but for about 10 minutes, it's all talk and no explosions. Oh, that's too bad. All right, some other fan favorites. Whoa, look at that. The Zodiac. Ultimate mobile entertainment console. I think I remember actually even seeing one of these. Eye candy, get a taste. Tapwave.com. There are these these websites. I have to go. I have to check them out on the Wayback Machine and see some of these sites, see what they you know what they offered. I actually bought this. That's amazing. I actually bought this and used it. New ways to get in the game. Yeah, the most the Nostroma speed pad. 
It looks like something that might attach to the arm of Stephen Hawking's wheelchair. In fact, it's a bizarre PC gaming mouse with 14 programmable keys, a scroll wheel, and thumb buttons. Yeah, it actually was pretty awesome. It was great for gaming. All right. What have we got here? Oh, wow. Oh, I remember these. In these PC magazines, they always had this Sony section with a million different uh, options, like a ton of different options and price points. Look, so, okay, so let's say a, uh, okay, so a $1,600 slim and powerful Sony VAIO. Pentium M processor, 1.5 gigahertz, Windows XP, home edition, 40 gig hard drive, wow, 40 gig spinning disk hard drive, 12.1 XGA TFT display. So these TFT displays were horrific. You could, if you go two degrees off center from a TFT display, it, display, it just turns into junk. 256 megabytes RAM, integrated CD uh, and DVD combo drive. Oh, it's only 4.39 pounds light and uh, one and three eighths inches thick and a one-year limited warranty. Okay, so you know, it's it's funny because people talk about how expensive laptops are these days and you get way, way more today than you did back in 2005 for essentially the same price. Here we go, learn it. This magazine was just so freaking awesome. This is the, the coolest tech magazine ever. Just put yourself back in 2005. I mean, for a for a gag, who who does who gets an who does an X-ray with a backpack full of stuff? Just for like a spread in the magazine. Stopwatch. Captain Chad Greer. Definitely looks like a Chad. The Air National Guard in Perrysburg, Ohio, is used to handling technical equipment on a daily basis. After all, his other car is an F-16. So Sink sent him a $2,000 ViewSonic projector to see how quickly he could get it up and flying. Well, looks like he did get it up and flying. I called their tech support to figure out how the proper background and needed a matte, non-glossy, smooth finish, which is just common sense, I suppose. Still, I don't have one. Overall, setup was simple to get the picture for to get the best picture for watching. The OC was going to have to repaint, and I wasn't willing to do that. The $999 challenge. We find the stuff, we crunch the numbers, you save the scratch. It's that simple. This issue, an entire home theater for under a grand. Whoa. Yeah, you got a little game in a box. Home theater tune-up disc. Speakers. DVD player. No Blu-ray in those days. And a big, <laughs> a big CRT monitor TV. Wow. Oh, look at that TV Samsung was selling back in the day. Geek out, binary clock wristwatch. I mean, that is pretty geeky, I gotta say. Not gonna lie. Wearable computer. Darth Vader was described as more machine than human. Begin your cyborg transformation with this QBIC belt integrated computer from the wearable computing lab of Switzerland, play games, input data, and surf the web via an eyeglasses mounted display that puts a small black screen in front of your eye. The Intel powered computer resides in the belt buckle along with inputs for controllers, memory card slots, and a Bluetooth module for wireless connectivity. Strap it on, power up, plug in a keyboard, and you're ready to get all up in your Linux, or to get all up in your Linux no matter where you are. Price not determined, yeah. I'd say so. Dude, 2005, I mean, that was extremely futuristic stuff. Like, I went and go tested out the, uh, I went and tested out the uh, Apple Vision Pro. 
I mean, we've come a long way since that, but still. That was impressive back in the day. What's this? Franz took solace in his 760 math SAT score. What is this? Are these golf gloves? Oh yeah, these are golf gloves. Oh, he's wearing that thing. What is that? Cartoon. Slim, the Slim Jim guy. Oh yeah. It's a sunny day, so the macho man heads to his patio with a laptop and venti frap in his hand to con contemplate his latest meat stick food project. Tech support hotline, deck speaking. The macho man is a ticking time bomb that's about to blow. Crunch. The macho king needs to tap into the power with Wi-Fi, brother. Can you dig it? Yes, Mr. Macho, it's actually quite simple. If your laptop is already Wi-Fi enabled, and most new laptops are, all you, all you need is wireless router. I'd recommend the, the Linksys Wireless G. Dud. Simply connect your cable mo modem to the router and the router to the laptop. Oh yeah, easy. What the hell? What, what's going on here? Oh yeah. Infidels. The caramel clutches for puds. Raffle million man. Oh man. I don't even get it. All right. Waste time like a pro. Produce movies. Oh yeah, that's right. The movie software. Bring the pain. What's that? Box. It plays CDs, MP3s, and radio. Tiny microphone inside analyzes room, then adjusts audio. Always sounds perfect. It's this box. Next issue. Watch us saw it in half. Oh. <laughs> Cram full of more tricks than a brothel on Bangkok's Khao San Road. The median audio G G68 surround controller is designed to be the centerpiece of your home theater. It's 18-headed mana from Digital Entertainment Heaven, a digital and analog audio video surround preamp processor with built-in AM FM tuner and a dozen inputs. More simply, this box decodes any piece of audio or video you feed it and does so at Ferrari pace inside five chips rips 750 million instructions per second to produce sound that puts Radiohead in the room. All the while, okay, good. All the while, built-in mic and room correction software continuously analyze your pad and tweak sound accordingly. And this big brain box is only getting smarter, that's right. Expect free downloadable upgrades on Meridian Audio's website. But for now, kick back with the four by eight inch remote and cold one, and the G68 will handle anything thrown at it. Save a few hundred gallons of water, nine, thousand meridian-audio.com wow the four minute guide to gals and gadgets apple store her vibe man eater urban fashionista her interests g5s g-strings apple martinis overhead hmm i'm not sure that ipod mini will match my viton clutch CompUSA, her vibe, Omega Moo Reject, but Wicca cool. <laughs> oh man, Renaissance Fairies, Farscape, overhead. It had better outlook, it, it had better outclock my Pentium 4EE. Best Buy, her vibe, mall walking soccer mom in training. Her interest, Dave Matthews, lunches at Olive Garden, overhead. Can this TV fit in my Pontiac Aztec? <laughs> a la Breaking Bad. Sony style store, her vibe, all American volleyball. Trustafarian, her interests. Cell phones, stealing boyfriends. What's this? Oh, the Sony style store? Kmart, her vibe, mother of three, Judge Judy fan club, treasurer. Her interests, RC Cola, decline, Celine Dion, anything pleated. Overhead, do you have the... Thornbirds on VHS. <laughs> Timeline. When women and tech intersect. Okay, I just don't know if I can keep going with this. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, look at this ad. I mean, prof 
for Christ's sake. You've got a two-footed foot with this babe drinking wine and it's an axe. And I remember I, they worked on me, I got axe. I smelled like one of those freaking kids. All right, they got the bikini babes here. Bob hoped the Spanish fly would last until his memory card was full. Oh, you remember that from that movie? Um, I can't remember. It was like a old school movie. I mean, Tom Cruise was in it, but he had just like a three minute role uh, part in it. And uh, these these kids they go to Mexico, and this uh, one of the kids was looking for the Spanish fly uh, to put in girls' drinks so he could score. Walkie talkie texty. Tested pool speaker. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. It's a walkie-talkie and it texts. Look at this device. If somebody handed this to you today, what would you say? Pocket-sized megaplex. I mean, some of these, some of these uh, items are perhaps. Oh, this is the cover story. See. 325 gadgets that will make your summer sizzle. This is it. Wow. Oh, this must be some sort of a PDA. It's a four megapixel digital camera that re can record short, short movie clips at 30 FPS. It also comes with a 2.8 internal zoom and a JIS Class 7 waterproof rating, meaning it can withstand a 30-minute dunk in three feet of water. That's a Pentax digital camera. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this is a recorder. The Archivos AV380 is the nerd world's equivalent of a 24-karat bling. It's flashy, over-the-top, and borderline tacky, yet there's no denying its star appeal. This portable all-in-one audio video player stores a staggering 60 full-length MPEG-4 movies, 20,000 MP3s, or 800,000 digital photos. It can also record content directly from a VCR, DVD, or camcorder. Buy it now or wait until winter for the AV500, a slimmed-down 40-gigabyte version with a PDA feature and Wi-Fi, $900. Fascinating. It's so fascinating to see how many devices have been replaced by the phone and your laptop. I mean, your phone replaces all of these things, except for this, because this thing records directly from a VCR. I mean, that's pretty intense. Uh, some are fun. We got, a, we got a flip phone, we got a bicycle. Look at that. Digital recording binoculars. Spy, bino spy binox there. Wireless speaker. I mean, look at that. It has this reflective. 2005 is just like the gizmo, the weird world of gizmos. Forget running 40 feet of ungainly cable through the house. Crank the Zep at your annual weenie roast on Sony's SRS RF90 RK wireless speaker system. Set the receiver down and turn it on within 150 feet of the base station, which, attach, which attaches to any stereo jack. The speaker lasts 3.5 hours before needing a recharge. Add more speakers for $150 each and break noise ordinances in Turkmenistan. $180, bucks, SonyStyle.com. I mean, this is fascinating. Wow. Hasbro's laser tag. Laser tag gun. Okay, it's a Wi-Fi boombox. Whoa. Barbecue beeper. Laptop. What's that? Wrist-mounted GPS. Whoa. Oh, Garmin. Yeah, I remember those. Everybody had a Garmin in their car at some point. <laughs> Look at this, they got the little Ibo. I remember that, you remember this dog, this little robot dog, the Ibo? And Robo Sapien. <laughs> World of Robots. 
the useless and painfully disappointing world of robots. We've been lied to our entire lives. It's not you, it's me. Sure, sexy actresses who claim they want to be hit on but never are. Maybe so. But house cleaning robots in every American home? Bull donkey. Bull, bull donkey by Jake Bronstein. Photographs by David Barry. Okay, so this is like an actual article. Anyways, we're not going to be reading this article, but looks like fun. Uh oh, body shots. Yeah, they've been talking about these RFID chips for a long time. This single injected, this syringe injected chip is the size of a grain of rice. That's eh, maybe like a long grain. Yeah. Great photo though. Seriously. All right. In the back room of a nightclub amidst a haze of artificial fog, VIP clientele are shooting up with microchips by Tim Herbert, photographed by Satoshi. All right. Garage sale time. Oh, look who it is on the cover of Playboy. Could it be the Donald Trump? Right there, homeboy. That's just fascinating. Oh man, look at all these. Remember those? Ultra fast uh, VHS rewinders. We got another one of these things. All right. Definitely a young man interest. Oh, look. It's the uh, um, IMAX of the day. The old school IMAX. Beastie Boys shot in their New York studio April 12th. There they are. That's right about the time where they released their album, I think, called The, the Five Burrows. Oh, let's see. Where's the MCA? Is he MIA? God, I want to get some Beastie Boys going. <laughs> Tech is easy to use. Do you fear it will fall into the hands of lesser musicians? Answer, if you're a whack, you're a whack. I'm sorry. Oh, that's funny. That's a Beastie Boys. Um... They don't even have that. Oh yeah, there it is, up there. <laughs> what do you do with all those beastie bucks? Cocaine, TiVo for Chappelle's show. <laughs> Cutting edge stuff served hot. Snag it. Sharp. Sorry, Jenny. Bluetooth by design. Yeah, I remember those. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that awesome looking camera. The iRiver. That wasn't the one that I had, but that's definitely an interesting model. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's another one of those things. The past perfected. Blast from the past. Whoa, what's this all about? Gigabit, 20 gig MP3. So there were a ton of MP3 players, not just, not just the iPod. As you, as we remember. <laughs> I mean, seriously, right? Who, who's getting a uh, flip phone that turns on its side? Oh, to make, uh, to make uh, horizontal videos or pictures. Oh wow, they even have one of these. Steinhausen. Yeah, but it's. 
you know, you, if you've ever read like Smithsonian or National Geographic or anything, you've seen the ads like this. Stour is the name. The Bargain Bin, MP3 phone, 150 bucks. Motorola, whoops. Palm, the Palm One. Oh, the Zyre 72 brings the PDA to the next level without bumping up the price. Oh, fun. <laughs> They're uh, reviewing these various cameras. Having fun with their friends up in New York. All right, we're almost done, folks. Almost, but almost at the end. If you're sticking with me this far, man, congratulations. Jeez, misreading this whole magazine, flipping through the pages way too fast. Maybe if you saw something that you liked that was interesting, you paused it and uh, and read it. But there's a lot of reflections on this thing too. Well, like all magazines, they have all the all the ads and stuff in the back. And it was just the very first... Oh, what's this? Shock and Awe. Oh, it's that shock game. Where if you stick, stay on the thing too long, it'll shock you. Ugh, I remember that. Well, there you go. Look at that. Remember this, guys? Try it free at Napster.com. Doing it a lot is okay. <laughs> do it now. Do it so you can't do it anymore. Do it without any long-term commitment. Subscribe to Napster for less than the price of a CD and collect as many songs as your hard drive can handle. It's legal, safe, and always in the mood. Oh, uh, yeah, this must have been right about the time when Napster got busted hardcore by all the music, um, the, the music uh, companies. So then you had to pay. But of course, as kids, we had absolutely no way to pay the subscription fee, even if we wanted to. <sighs> so we went to LimeWire instead. Now, check this out. There's more where this came from. I guess I'll have to do a video for, for uh, the next issue. There's the next issue right there. It, oh, it looks like it's a smaller, it's about an inch and a half less and they rebranded it as the Ameri America's Gadget Guide. This is, oh, look at that. That's June, July, 20, 2005. So this was a much later edition. This was, oh, wow. This was on display only. This was never actually, this um, edition was never actually mailed. It was only on display. Display until August 9th. $2.99. Yeah, they wanted to offload it super cheap um, because they wanted people to, to, to subscribe to it. And I guess they had that wide format because they thought it was going to get more people interested. Let's uh, quickly bust open this box. I have, I think, five. Hang on. I think I have five issues in this box. I am so, so stoked. God, I remember just pouring through these freaking mags, man. And um, I think, I don't remember how many I got. I know, I know I didn't get all of them, but I did end up getting a few issues. I definitely got the first one. I guess I saw it on some magazine stand, I must have. And bought it, you know, three bucks, why not? And then I took one of those little cards and what I did was you fill those things out and I went to my local convenience store and I bought a money order. Can you believe that? A money order. And that's what you did back in the day. Here we go. Glory, five issues. Look at that. So they had celebrity endorsements, 
We had 50 cents gadget beatdown. All the gadgets that he would use. This is uh, October 2005. Issue number nine, issue number 10, issue 11, issue number eight. And who is this baby? And this was issue number seven. So I actually need a few. I, mean, I, I need a few in, in between issues to, to complete my collection. There's no way at this point I'm gonna have to. God, if my mom saw this in the mail, she probably would have thrown it out. Maybe that's why I didn't get it. <laughs> Well, let's see what it what this thing turned into anyway. That first issue was just glamorous. The second issue, or these, these later issues, they, have, they might just be a little bit raunchy, but eh, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll give it their fair shake. We'll go through it. Until next time. This is a piece of history that you will not find, really. That's very difficult to find anywhere. There's no real record of it, on it online, except, well, now I'm gonna have to go to syncmag.com on the Wayback Machine and see what that was all about. But uh, I thought that, you know, the world deserves to have this recorded. So that's why we went through the mag with you. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time. So